Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to convert a decimal float point number, say 56.79, to a binary number that is in the IEEE 754 float point standard. So, this number 56.79, um, if we turn this into the binary form, we get 111000. And after the point, we have one one zero zero one zero one zero 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 one 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 one. So this is the direct conversion into binary. So to convert it into IEEE form, we have to keep just one before the point, and we just have to put all of them on the right side and uh, put the necessary power or exponent on the right side of it. So if we do so, we get 1.11000.11. Oh, sorry. And we have uh, put these five digits on the right side of it. So uh, our power will be five. So this is the number we get from this uh, decimal number. Um, now, to convert it into the IEEE standard binary number, uh, we have a format that says that we have one digit for a sign. Then we have eight digits for the exponent. Then we have 23 digits for the float point number. So here we have uh, 1 and this is a positive number. So we can say our first digit is 1. Uh, sorry, first digit is 0 because 0 represents a positive IEEE 754 binary number here. And uh, for the exponent part here, we have to make an 8 digit exponent binary number from this. So to do that we have to do is uh, just take 127 and add it with whatever the value we have as an exponent here. So we have 5. So that means 123. So if we convert it to binary what do we get? 123 as a binary is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, double, 0. So you can see this is the 8-bit number. This is automatically a 8-bit number. So we have to put this 8-bit directly for this 8-bit exponent number. So we have this. So we have already completed the 9 bits of the IEEE 754 uh, binary number. So now this 23-bit float point number. So this is the easiest thing here because this 23 bit for, uh, float point number part is basically whatever we have from here. So we have 11000 and so on. We have so many numbers here but I didn't calculate that. And most probably even you don't have to do it because of the short of time. So basically this is the thing. Uh, just put 1 or 0 for positive or negative for the sign bit. Then just calculate the exponent, the 8-bit exponent from this value. And then whatever you have here, just copy that and paste it here. So easy as that. I think I made you guys understand this thing. You can question in the comments below if you have any confusions here. And guys, if I give you any help through this video and you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. This really helps me a lot. Thanks everyone.